You must be tired from your trip. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see... So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh yeah, you should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, First, gotta get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. You look kinda nervous. I just wanna make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. <sighs> well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Be my guest then. Go get killed. Ugh. Harsh. You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort... Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them.
how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! Hey, you gonna be okay out there? Got all the info you need? Uh, Yuffie? Might wanna wait for Sonam before hitting the city. Sonam's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Mature tastes? There's lots of different establishments. It's kinda hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see, and drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. Uh, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time! <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him! Man deserves some Dachau beans. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Hmm? <laughs> Kinda. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. Guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. So what do you say? Wanna try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> The guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Ugh, all this talking is giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Oh, you sure?
Searching for candidates. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. What a shame, it was a close match. However, I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? What a shame. It was a analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim big name each sector may not be much. This will be done before the days happen. Don't get sold out everywhere. So, but he 
<laughs> oh, the joy and cheer that away at the happy turtle. Ho ho! Greetings, Softshell. So, how many of those flyers did you find? What? Ahem! Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one-of-a-kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well then, allow me to explain. The happy turtle's running a contest. And the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Mutayan, especially since the bombings. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Uh, uh. What? Just thinking how you're nothing like your old man. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonan Kasakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from good. Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something else. Like how you've adjusted to life here, indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. <laughs> Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over the hill has been. Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do adult stuff just fine. Well, I don't even know where to begin with all of that. But I do know I haven't heard of Operation Down in One. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. I... I guess I have. Boss, huh? I could get used to that. Beats being stuck on the bottom rung, that's for sure. <laughs> After we get the materia, we can celebrate your promotion of the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Stupid bird. It says the merchandise is good to go. Handoff's at a depot and municipal storage. Okay. Yuffie, Sonan, you mind coming along? Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done, okay? Be right there.
You guys all set? Okay, streets are kind of a maze, so stay close. So Naya, where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without them. But I thought DJ was getting our IDs. What happened with that? He is, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those tyrants! Put the claws away, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa! So Yuffie, what do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded, I can't stand it. Ugh, stench! How can anyone live here? I gotta agree with you about the smell, but you get used to it quick enough. And the crowds stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you hated it. Midgar isn't the enemy. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction, but we do. Um, what was that stuff on the news? About a reactor blowing up and all. No way, that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Wait, where's Cloud? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like him. He'll come swaggering back before long, you mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working for Wuta! Avalanche ain't nobody! Barrett! Oh. Yeah. Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Don't got time for no low-level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. <laughs> Tifa, you and I both know this is far from over, right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. Right. You know what? I think I am gonna look into this. Good luck out there. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage, long as Shinra goes down. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home to take down one company. Well, that company almost leveled our home, and they've got to learn their lesson. Yeah, I get that. Gotta admit, I'm surprised you agreed to work with us. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. 
In other words, you're working with us so we don't work with your old buddies. Knowing what would happen if we did. Uh, can we table this for later, maybe? Not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Consider it tabled. So, what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than anyone! I guess you will. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! And not just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. That the gist of it, boss? It sure is! <laughs> See that one? <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? <laughs> Those looks I guarantee you're golden. <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be queen of the Undercity? Hey! What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> it doesn't need to hear this. You'll be a good girl and cover your ears, okay? You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all of You want me to be one of Cornelia's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? <laughs> Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me! Now don't go playing hard. <laughs> <today. laughs> <laughs> Kids who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, I'm pretty hot stuff myself, thank you very much. <laughs> sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. Wow, if you want to pull up a seat at the grown-ups table, be my guest. <laughs> Go on again, pull the <laughs> <laughs> happy turn <-off. laughs> Those hurts, you smug piece of shit. Boss, huh? boss, you're not gonna believe this. The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap. She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, junk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride. 
Sorry, ladies, but after careful consideration, we decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go! See you around. Okay. So who were those creeps anyway? Don Corneo's talent scouts. They'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked seedy. Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh ho! And how do you know what it looks like? I saw it while I was scouting the area. Well, we're here. Now we just have to wait. Wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make fake IDs in-house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. Hmm. <sighs> hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Them again? Oh, Shinra's so gonna get it. If it's Shinra uh -huh. you've got beef uh -huh. with, you'll be needing these. Can't access the plate without them. We're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold up! <clears throat> Try it. You'll love it. <laughs> ah! Foreigners and their weak jaws. <sighs> we should probably head back and wait for Gigia. <laughs> Enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra! Cause we're coming! Not yet, boss. Huh? With things the way they are, we can't just go strolling up to the front gates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. 